G'day punters and you ultimate owners. Not too many of you will have a Dometic three-way fridge in their camper, but some may still like me. Dometic three-way, that's uh, 12, 240 and gas. Well, it's the 24th of October, I'm at Geraldton, and we've been on the road now for six and a half months. Probably last three weeks, the Dometic just hasn't been holding down temperature. Got up to 18 degrees at one stage. How do I know that? Um, we bought one of these companion temperature monitors, Bluetooth one. Anyhow, it wasn't holding temperature on gas and it wasn't holding temperature at 12 volts. It seemed to be working K at 240. So I've made the um, decision finally to replace it with a angle upright 80, 80 litre. So this video is all about pulling out the Dometic and installing the angle. It's going to be done over probably two months, this video. First step, take out all these Phillips head screws. Uh, there's white mastic in behind there, I know that because I did it myself and uh, that's how it comes originally. It's going to take out all those screws just so I can access the back of the um, fridge. I need to disconnect the um, gas, 12 volts, 240 volts. Um, I need to disconnect this gas pipe here, change that T fitting just to an elbow. So it runs the uh, gas cooktop. Uh, but for today's purposes, I'm going to um, disconnect that gas hose. I'll need to pull it back through the hole at the back there. It runs on the back of the fridge. The original hoses are about 1.8 meters long. This one's 1.2 meters long. So I can't pull the fridge out with the existing hose um, being disconnected and pulled back through. The original hoses, which are 1.8 metres long, will give you plenty of length to pull the fridge back out through. So I'll do this step by step, taking these screws off, and we'll have a look and see what's behind. All right, that's the back off. I replaced the original screws with these larger Phillips head stainless ones as well, because um, <clears throat> first time I took it off, the screws weren't taking up in the, the fiberglass. So I just went to the next um, gauge size. So I'll have a look at the wiring here. This is the 12 volt wiring. Um, that's the fridge side, so all I need to do is um, disconnect those two leads there, pull those two wires out. Now here's the gas hose. The original hose actually ran, um, I think it was uh, down here, and then back up again and over. So I'll have a look. I have to take off this um, exhaust to get the fridge out too. It's this little hot exhaust here. So I'm going to take that off now. I'm going to do the quick disconnect method today. Some of you may say, uh, aren't you worried about shorting out the wiring? Well, somebody's going to have to get there and uh, reach in and connect those two wires together. And I'm guessing this is the 240 volt here. So that goes into this um, block here. Uh, this white cable goes back into uh, the battery compartment and um, connects to a um, power board. So I'm going to do the quick disconnect method on that one as well. Um, I won't need, well, I will need this. So uh, the angle I, I, spew, I suppose has got a, a 240 volt lead coming out, and I'll get it into this um, uh, little junction box here. So quick disconnect method. Obviously make sure that um, you're um, not connected to 240 volts when you're doing this. Make sure the gas is off. There, yeah, that's the 240 out of the way. That's the 12 volts out of the way. That's all part of the motion detector stuff. Next thing is inside. Oh, I've taken this exhaust off. Oh, I've got to take off that gas pipe. But first of all, I'll disconnect it from the gas bottle. I'll have to um, try and pull it through there. I put a whole bunch of celastic in there when I replaced this hose recently. For my purposes, I've pulled that gas hose through now. Um, 
I've pulled off the gas bottle so I could get access and take it off the um, gas regulator. Uh, I've popped the roof up so I can get access this side. I need a 10 mil, I think it's a 10 mil, it's either a 10 or an 8 mil spanner. Rip the door off. 10 mil. Just undo that top screw. A really fine um I think it's a machine thread that comes out. Out of the way. The door should pop off now. It just pulls out of the bottom. I get rid of all the furniture inside because make it easier for me. So I'll come back to you after that. This wire racking has these little clips located in them. Just there you just need to um pry that end apart and they'll come off and then you push the racks to the left and the right hand side will drop down. Some of you may be asking correctly, um, I'm going to pull this fridge out. I'm driving around for three or so weeks before I put a new one in. What about all the dust that's going to come in? So I've held on to the door. Hopefully I can do something with that. Uh, there's some timber supports behind here and hopefully I'll be able to screw through the door into that just to uh, keep the dust down. These old um, Dometics have four screws, oh, they're screwed into timber. In my case I've only got three because one of the tabs broke off. So you just need to pull these uh, grommets out. You can just see them behind there. Phillips set screws, I'll replace those two with um, larger gauge ones as well. So that's um, now free to come out. Uh, handy tip though, the carpet's going to be in the way. So we need to get the carpet out of the way. And that's pretty easy, just lift it and uh, move it out of the way and then I should be able to pull the fridge straight out come back and have a look eh? Well, there she is, she's coming out might get my missus in to move all this stuff out of the way so I can give the floor a good clean too and see there's a bit of dust still in here hmm. be a tight squeeze through the door I think Come back to when I've got it out. There we go, out. Take them to the tip. Give this a clean out. See if that fridge door goes on. If it doesn't, I'll have to go buy some um, ply or something, screw it in, just to keep the dust out. Have a look from the um, nose cone side, eh? There we go. Yeah, I think I'd rather the um, ply to go on the inside rather than here because I don't think I'll get a seal up there. Bit dirty. Yeah. We'll give them a good clean out. Ah, oh, that's um, rat bait. If you're in an area where there's a uh, rat bait and you've got all these old ultimates for the vent, vent pipes down the bottom here, yeah, we just shoved a bit up there in case they decided to get in here. Well, um, that's the removal of the fridge. I think the next time I come back uh, on this, I'll uh, probably be about a month away, and um, by then I'll have cleaned it up. You don't need to see that. That's just domestic chore stuff. And um, I'll be talking about installing it. I do know, um, well, I believe, these uh, timber frames, front and rear, will likely need to be shaved down a bit. Uh, just a tip, um, you recall how I cut the um, 12 volt leads before, well, not a good idea, I'll show you why, um, that's the 12 volt uh, negative into the fridge, that's the 12 volt positive into the fridge, I've just taken the positive off because I didn't want that flapping around, um, and I'll show you why, that little terminal that I cut the wires out there. It's attached to the bottom of the fridge. Well, I've cleaned this up now. Uh, I'm going to get tape measure out and measure those um, timber frames so, that I'm dealing, so I know what I'm dealing with when I um, get the angle. 
G'day you ultimate people, here yeah, we are um, in Perth and you'll see that I pulled the cover back off the fridge, got rid of the mastic just run a um, new 12 volt wiring from the battery compartment box across to here where the fridge is going to be George my mate up there, so you go George Sound on <laughs> Cut off the 240, George is an electrician uh, cut off a 240 good. junction box, so we'll plug the new fridge I didn't into tell that. Kenny I wasn't a good one. Yeah, I didn't. New fridge over here. That's the um, angle 80. It's already swung from the right hand side, which is good. We've measured across the top 520, and the opening in the camp it looks like it's going to fit straight in there. I've also got a flashing kit which goes around the outside. So we're in there that or not got some foam just to uh, insulate it from the back to try and keep the dirt out from inside the camper itself and some um, stainless nuts and bolts two bolts at the front two nut uh, bolts at the back they'll go right through the floor and uh, be bolted up nylock nuts I'll use some uh, Loctite 243 as well some new mastic some washers for that just some conduit clips and um, got some slastic as well which we'll use to um, seal up where we need to well sort of moment of truth I suppose I've stuck the um, flashings on as well both sides I reckon this is going to get caught up in here so I have to see I might have to get in there with the angle grinder and just clean it out a bit well it didn't quite fit in I'm going to have to trim up this area around here Fit that in. Boss is worried that we're gonna crack the tinder up the back here too, but I'm pretty sure that um, we'll clear that. Now, tomorrow, I'm gonna trim up just a little bit of the timber on the sides, make it an easier slide in, and I'll trim up that as well, just into a square. And we'll have another slide in and see how we go. All right, what we've done is I've got rid of the fans that were here. It's these fans here. In my ultimate, I've got a um, little switch there. So that's now become redundant. And the reason I've done that is, I'll show you, on the back of these angles, they've got their own little fan. So don't need to worry about that. And we've chased the uh, fridge wires back through, like the 12 volt stuff, back through the battery box and found where they originated from. And we've terminated those wires, so we've cut them off so we start afresh. The plan is that um, positive is going to be on the, um, I don't know how to describe this, there's a battery isolation switch, so it's not going to be on the battery side of that, it's going to be on the opposite side, so I can still turn it off to the battery isolation switch. And the negative is going to be hooked up to a shunt which runs through the um, battery manager so we can monitor the battery draw and the battery condition when the fridge is on. So the idea is the fridge will run all the time except we're going to turn it off at the fridge and as a secondary portion we can turn it off at the battery isolator too like when it's in storage and stuff. Um, that's about as far as we've come. Uh, I've tidied up the wiring. That's for um, the boot light and there's also inside some uh, auxiliary power points as well. Those wiring, three sockets up here. So I've just tidied that wiring up. Clean the mastic off the um, backing cover for the fridge. This is the spare one. Uh, never do I. To show we're up to, um, I mentioned before that the fridge is okay to fit in here for the width, but it's not for the height. 775 we need. We had 760 to there, so you see I've cut out and a little bit across the top. I've used a um, battery cordless electric drill. I'm going to get all the way across here. Oh, look at this spare GoPro, but I haven't got it all the way across there, so I'm going to have to hand cut that chisel. Going to have to get rid of some of that styrene too. So I'll come back um, once we've cleared that out, eh? Boss is just in there uh, cleaning up after we chiseled away all the wood. Chisel, tenon saw, 
C-cloth saw or angle grinder hammer. Show what we've done with the fridge. Um, these are already fused, 10 amp fuse in there. Um, there's three little access ports for the 12 volt system, one each side, one at the bottom. I've knocked the one out of the bottom, so we're going to run the white tubbing through there. I've got some split tube somewhere around here, and we'll use that to run up through here and zippy tie it around those cables up inside here so it doesn't slide down. That's a split tube there to show you what we've done inside. Yeah. Mask, safety glasses. Effectively cut straight across and knocked out the top styrene. Don't know what's going to happen with that. I might just um, I've got to sit, uh, dry fit it anyhow and drill four holes in the floor. We'll see how that insulation goes. Well, that, I think it's more dust proofing than anything else. As you know, the fridge that came out was a three way fridge gas. And if you watched one of my earlier episodes, you'll know that I replaced the gas hose that came up through here. Well, I've just sealed that up now, so that's cool. And there was a tea piece there from the caravan store today and got an elbow. I've replaced that and put some gas tape on it, so that's all done now. Just smooth this up a bit. Cool. So that's the gas side of things done. Sorted. New day. I'll show you what we've done in here to get the fridge in. We've got some longer M8 bolts, stainless bolts. These ones are a little bit short. These are 35 mil. 30 mil would probably that do, but I can't get one. Got a um, little man in the front here. Georgie, the electrician's in at it again. Finishing up the 12 and 240 volts, aren't you, George? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. See, I, I, I'd never be able to fit in there, at least George can. That's, that's why I've come around here, because I know he can fit in places that I can't. I'll show you what we did in here. I'm just going to go to the garbage bin first. <coughs> Trimmed up a bit of fiberglass. I also bought a um, wood sanding disc. That's a little blue thing on the ground down there just to uh, send up some of the timber framework in there as well. So I've um, trimmed up along here, all the way around here. Yeah, nicked it there, so I'll have to get that gel coated. I've got some um, pinch weld that I'm going to stick on around here, just to dress it up. Uh, drilled holes in the feet, ready to go through. And um, Put some slastic in there as well so i've got stainless i've got to have a stainless bolt washer slastic on the other side be a washer nylock nut and i'm going to put some um loctite on it as well these flashings are uh, worked up pretty well i've got some black um, wood screws 35 mil long as well hopefully they're going to be long enough we'll see how we go if not i'll have to go buy some longer ones haven't put the bottom flashing on yet because need access to where the bolts are the right hand side side's probably not as neat that's um the original cut that's the way it was uh when the dometic was in there but um i'll still put a couple of screws in there or go into the timber frame that's behind it and i think i'll um just up the top here i'll just probably stick some foam in up there i won't worry about the flashing i don't think Getting close now. Uh, the boss has put foam in up the top. She put foam in down the bottom. You might be able to see that. And um, the wiring's finished. We've checked 12 and 240. It's all working okay. That's all nice and neat. I've just got to flip that around and um, do up that Phillips head there. I've blocked off four of the holes. And the boss has put some foam in down the bottom there as well. Just try and keep the dust out. Well, there you go, punters. Uh, finished job. I still haven't put the... Um, still haven't put the pinch weld in around the top there. I'll get to that. Got the board back in and camper just about packed. About to hit the road again.